to my channel. If this is your first time here, I like to cover everything related to sewing from pattern reviews to tutorials to sewing guests and you name it. If it's in the world of sewing, we love it around here. So stay tuned because today I am running down 24 things you can get on Amazon that will make your sewing life easier. So buckle up your seatbelt. We're going to go through these one by one. I picked 24 since it's 2024 and I think you'll find some useful things. There'll be a link in the description to my Amazon store and that particular list where you can find all of the things I'm talking about and showing you today. All right, here we go. So the first one is this set of sewing clips. These are indispensable. You cannot have enough of them and they come in two sizes. One thing I liked was that you can get an assortment of large ones and small ones. Very important for bag making especially. I use these nonstop and I lose them. I don't know where they go, but I lose them often. But always have more than you need of these. All right, the purple thing sewing tools. They have five of them. These are great that you can use them like stilettos where you have the pointy thing down here to be able to just hold your work in place as it goes through the presser foot. This up here is really a good like a flat thing you can use to help it when it needs to stay down in order for the feed dogs to grab. Just an overall really f important gadget to have in your toolbox and for $5.39 you get five of them so you can have one by every machine. Certainly an inexpensive product that really helps eliminate a lot of problems. All right, the third thing is this wonderful expanding sewing gauge. And what you use this for is to make your button holes and snaps or whatever it is you're putting on a garment, you can make sure that they're equal distant apart. I use mine extensively whenever I do something with buttons. It's wonderful. It's 1059, which is a little higher than some of the things on this list but I really do think it is worth the money. I've had mine for probably 10 or 12 years. It doesn't get old. I just used it yesterday, and it's a very indispensable sewing tool. Number four is this chalk markers. These are awesome because they put your chalk mark right where you need it without being real messy. You don't have to hold a piece of chalk in your hand and get it all over. They erase really well and these are just really good to have. I like that there's a white one and a darker one and really enjoy using these. And this is $12.99. This is on my wish list. I can remember having a pair of these in the 70s and giving up because they just went too fast for my teenage hands. Let's just put it that way. And after ruining a lot of fabric, my mom just said, we're not going to use these. <laughs> so that, that was probably wise at the time. However, they have refined these. And if you've been to Joanne Fabrics lately, you've seen their associates using these to cut your fabric. You don't want to use it for fine detail, but when you are cutting strips or just any large-scale cutting project, these are really great. So this is on my wish list to try these again. Next thing, these are by far the best rotary cutter blades I have ever seen. I've had this brand, and I can tell you that they just cut beautifully. They're the sharpest blade I've ever used. And because they send you so many at such a really ridiculously low price, there's no reason not to have a bunch of these on hand. So these are the only rotary cutter blades I will buy at this point. If you're like me, you drop pins on the floor often. Anything metal sometimes is really hard to see. I drop snaps, I drop, you name it, and this picks them all up. I have a similar one. This one is a really good price at 891 
and it does solve a little bit of a headache. If you have children, I would not be without one of these. Make sure that the floor is free from little hands and sewing pins and even little items that they could choke on. I'm also concerned about my dogs sometimes with pins on the floor. I would definitely always have one of these handy. Number eight is a pedal mat. So this goes on the floor and keeps your sewing pedal from flying everywhere, which is really great. I have one of these under my foot pedal and it really saves the crawling across the floor as you're sewing. This solves a huge problem that we all have from time to time. Okay, these are great. I have these and they're great to wrap around thread as you use it to keep the threads from getting all tangled and jumbled. They still fit on the racks when they have these on them, which I really like. You can use them on embroidery thread, you can use them on cones. If not the huge big ones, but the smaller cones, you can use them on regular size spools. These are fantastic. And they're actually something that doesn't take very much time that you can actually practically use. I used to have something that just took too much time to take on and off. This one, it's real easy just to grab this little rubber thing and throw it on there. It's definitely a good product. Number 10, I have one of these and it holds your hand sewing needles in a nice little case that you can put in your little hand sewing kit. It's very inexpensive and you'll always keep your needle sharp instead of sticking them in the thread, which is very bad for your thread and not so great for your needle either. Definitely this has been a good addition to my hand sewing basket. It makes a tedious task a little bit more tolerable. <laughs> Number 11, here is a magnetic seam guide. You put the seam guide down right on your sewing machine and then you can guide it just along that edge and have perfect top stitching, that perfect quarter inch, whatever it is that you need. It's difficult sometimes. You need magnifying glasses to see the numbers on the seam guide on the throat plate. So it's a really good idea to have something like this. I used to think these were bad for your machine, but I've since heard otherwise. I don't have one of these, but I think I might actually get one of these myself. Inexpensive, $10, and it would help you sew straight. Num number 12, this is for anyone who embroiders or even does Cricut vinyl on t-shirts. This is a great set of guides to let you know where to place a design and it's very handy to have if you have a Cricut. I have a set similar to this but it does not have as many options as this one does. So I think I might actually invest in this set rather than the one I have. Again, inexpensive, has a 20% off coupon right now. So yeah, I think this is definitely worth it. Number 13 is this 30 pack replacement drawstring cords. And if you make a lot of pajama pants or hoodies or anything where you need a drawstring, these are awesome. And they come with the bodkins and the drawstring threader if you need it. They also come with these nice locks, which I've used on my hoodies for my grandkids and they like those a lot. This is a nice set. There's a lot of colors. I wish there was a few more white, a few more black, and a few more navy blue, but pretty much there's just a lot of good colors in there. And I've used quite a few of them from my set so far. Definitely if you're going to be doing the cleft coat, the women's version, or the kids version, you could use this on the drawstring. It's, it makes a really nice finish. Number 14. This is a fabric marker that is water erasable and I don't really need to say more because I know that you are very familiar with these. These are the best way to mark your fabric. They don't come back like the heat ones do. These are great to have nearby when you're marking your darts and all those things, notches, 
all those things. It's really nice to have one handy when you're cutting things out because that is the best time to mark those things. This is one thing that I actually have ordered for myself. I have a difficult time with the little, I don't know, oddly shaped screwdriver they have given you, especially my baby lock embroidery machine. It's really difficult to take a screw out or put it back with the little gadget that they sent. So these being stubby and round, it should be able to maneuver them than what comes with most sewing machines. This is a flathead and a Phillips, and I think these are a necessity for me. I've ordered them. I can't really say anything one way or the other about how they are, but I really, when I saw these, I was like, yes, I need those really badly. I'll let you know but I would definitely pick up that. Number 16, a tailor's clapper. You need one of these <laughs> if you don't have one. When you're pressing things like jeans where the seam allowances are really thick and you wanna keep that flattened out, make it really pressed nicely, this is just indispensable. You have to have one of these if you do any kind of tailoring or any kind of really precise seams where pressing is so super important. I love using these on jeans. A lot of times I will not actually touch the iron to vinyl or something with bags. Just shoot some steam above it and then you can use this tool to press it at the same time and it does a pretty good job. Definitely don't want to put your iron directly on a lot of different things. So this is a really good tool to have. Plus that when it matters so much to have really well pressed seams, you just have to have it. Next is a buttonhole cutter. This is great. You can't overcut your buttonholes with this. It's just one shot deal. It comes with its own little cutting mat and it's really, it's a good find. And they have a couple different options here color-wise, so you can match your sewing room if you want to, but it's a really great tool to have. Next, something a lot of us don't think about. We think of them as old-fashioned and we don't need them, but everyone needs a good set of pinking shears. And these look like they're pretty good. You don't need to break the bank on your pinking shears. You don't use them that much, but you definitely do use them. In bag making, when you're turning things and it's difficult to cut notches in things, you can use the pinking shears instead of making notches. There's a lot of reasons to use pinking shears. Used to be that you would only use these to keep fabric from fraying, but there's so many more reasons to get pinking shears and have them handy. $9.99, that's pretty good for a nice pair of scissors. Number 19, these are super handy. They're clips that have measuring markings on them that you can mark up a hem. It's really nice, especially when you're marking a hem for yourself. It'll hold it up there without using a ton of pins. I really like these. I've had these for years and years, and they're really nice. They're especially nice when you can't do a lot of bending over, like with my back issues and things. I've really found myself going to these more often than pins. Number 20 is a little electric bobbin winder. It's nice not to have to unthread your machine in order to run another bobbin. If you have two spools of thread, then you're able to keep the bobbins wound. Definitely a nice tool. Maybe not as necessary as some of the other things, but this would make a great gift for somebody. I have one. I really like it. I don't use it as much as I thought I would, I admit, but it's nice to have. It really is. Number 21. Here is a little drawstring threader, which is really nice. I wish they would make a curved one like this. That would make it even better, but these are great to thread the drawstring or even thin elastic through whatever tube you've made for waistbands, for a ton of different things. This is a great tool to have. Number 22, 
from Madame So. Here's some hot hem rulers. And this is great for measuring your hems and then you can actually iron directly on this and it will not hurt the item. So I think it's a really great thing to have. They have the 18 inch larger one or this 10 inch one. Personally, I don't work on much more than 10 inches at a time, even if it is a long thing. I would probably opt for the smaller one. You can also use the narrow end if you're doing pants or something where you can't get a big ruler into it. Next are some really good thread snips, and you can't have enough of these. I have one pair almost exactly like this. I use them every day. And I think I probably could use another couple pair and have one by my serger and also by my ironing station. I'm always snipping threads and these are just quick to grab and they do the job. And at $21 roughly, that's a pretty good deal for a nice quality set of clippers. Much more resilient than those little plastic things or even little scissors so this these are great and probably worth in my opinion worth $21 for sure and number 24 this is something that you're probably going to think what does this have to do with sewing here's what I do with them my grandkids don't like me to sew in tags because the sew in tags are really scratchy if you have a cricket and you can cut circles or whatever like I do you can do it that way or you can just get these little hang tags and write handmade by grandma or mommy or aunt aunt kim or whatever these are great for that it adds the homemade touch without having a tag there that's going to scratch the kids or without having to sew something into your garment i'm always aware of how itchy things are for kids and all of the tags that I have ever had are very itchy and they don't like it. And the last thing you want to do is to make a garment and then have it not be comfortable for the kids. This is a great product and that is number 24. Okay, on that last one, I'll just show you what I do. I actually cut these little circles. Let me see. I don't know if I can get any closer and have it be in focus, but these little circles out on my Cricut, and I just have a little thread spool design on there, and it says, lovingly made by Kim. I make them that say Kim. I make them that say Aunt Kim. And I make them that say Mom. And I also have some that say Grammy, which I'm out of right now because that's the ones that I use the most. But it really does. I just add a little ribbon to it and just use those little tiny gold safety pins. And it's a nice presentation without something that's going to scratch their necks and stuff. So that's just a suggestion. Another thing you can do is you actually could cut Cricut vinyl and iron it on the inside of the shirt or whatever. I've done that before too, but I like this because it's removable and it's like a gift wrap. You take it off and when you give it to someone, they don't go, where'd you buy it? They knew that you made it for them. So those are the 24 things I came up with. Maybe you have some too. Why don't you just go ahead in the comments and tell me your favorite sewing notion in the comments. That would be really helpful for all of us. Again, this list is linked down in the description. If you're not familiar with the description and where to find it, if you go underneath the title, then you'll see a little bit, first couple lines of the description, and then there'll be the word more. And then you can click on that, and then it'll bring up a whole bunch of things. I have a lot of links in there. I have links to all my affiliate programs, and I always have the links for each video that I do if there's any links pertaining to what I'm talking about. So that's where you want to look for the links. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot if you go ahead and subscribe or even give me a like. It lets YouTube know that this is good content and they can push it out to more people. It helps more than you realize. So go ahead and just click that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. I'm coming up close to 25,000. It's within sight now and I'm pretty excited about that. On March 30th, it will be the five year anniversary of this channel. 
So I'm going to be planning fives of one thing or another that whole week. And I hope we're going to be doing some celebratory things. I would sure love to make it to 25,000 before then. I don't know if it's possible, but hey, if you're watching this and you haven't done it yet, just click the button and let me know that you want to help with that. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful day. I hope you are blessed and hold your loved ones close. Hug them and tell them you love them every night because life is very short. Thank you. Be blessed and happy sewing.